Hi all and welcome to a tutorial about Linux CNC and the gamepad controller to control the machine. It's a very easy way to do it. I, as a request on the ERC channel, I do it now in English. I'm a German person, so sorry for the bad words or the incorrect words and also sorry if uh, I get messed up with some open frames here. It's a little hard to do. This here is the live view of the controller that is connected to the simulated machine. I connected all the parts here. This here is the, the, the head. The head is connected to X and Y. This is my set controller. Here are the four speeds that I uh, implemented into its its the lowest and the highest speed. Here is the run level, run and stop program. Here is pause and resume. And here is the start of the machine. The, the upper part of the button here. There are more buttons here on this side. So let's do something. I hope I had a, have the right uh, frame in position. First, start up the machine here. I will do it with my uh, controller. You see, it's pressed, and now here, here you can see it, and I press it off here on off the machine. So, I the machine is not referenced as you see here. I put the reference on this button. It's there are two, one high and one low. If I press it, it should reference the machine. Cannot home while shared home switch is closed. Oh, that's that's a problem only with my simulated machine here. So I need to move the machine to a position. Oh, come on, where the shared keys are not preset. It's not a real machine. It's only simulated, so now let's see if it works. On the real machine, this, this should be not the case. Yeah, now it's referencing the machine. The controller is normally only for machines that are really big. I got machines that are more than five meters big. So uh, I need some of that. See, the machine is now uh, homing. Should home. Hopefully, yeah, second axis, and here is the third axis. Now the machine is homed. I reset the screen here. Now I can move my axis. I need to press first the, the speed. Here is now 2000 and move the axis. So I need to move it in the other direction. You see here, it's moved. Let's move slowly up a little bit faster up here okay so this works works fine now I can start my key code from here yeah this works let's pause it here see here the, the button pause is pressed if I press it the second time it will restart and if I press this the second time it's gone off now program is stopped I get uh, some faults of course I uh, in the hull there's uh, no mode settings now implemented I also got here on those two buttons the, the startup of the, the spindle or the plasma whatever you want if I press here, you see spindle, uh, the plasma goes on and here it goes off. So I can manually do all the things I want to do on this machine. So that's it for the first thing. Now, how is that done? I will now uh, bring in some indications. First, how is the controller recognized? Just LS USB on your on a terminal and you see here it's recognized Dragon Rise incorporated generic USB joystick. 
There are other controllers like uh, a US one here from from Thunderstrike. I would uh, this these pins are named. It's hard to see. You see here, there's six, eight. There are numbers on the on the pins. So it's maybe better. I shot this on eBay for one euro. So this one here is a nine euro part. So let first you need to recognize if the controller is here. I will close this down. Then I go into my now for first you need to uh, uh, implement it in your main HAL file. So your main machine file here needs uh, a, a lesson here. No, a line. Load user, and this is always the same. Uh, Carl here says uh, LEDs, analog, and uh, what what uh, pins you can read from from the controller. Joystick is the name. It's the same name. It has to be a unique name from the LS USB. What name you got from the controller? All informations are also on our Wikipedia site. I make this highlighted so you can read this. I record this in HD, so it should not be a problem to get this address here. There's also the information how this is done here yeah, how you get the information it's j uh, it's the, the controller event is joystick zero and here's the name of the device and here it puts dual yeah, that's a that's a unique name so in this case the the name should be dual here you need to hal ue to be enabled in the ENE file and here are some settings how to get it work. I did not use the analog device here, I only used the uh, the buttons. I close this down. So here is my file as I said. Here is the joystick. This, this has to be in the main HAL file. I put some MDE commands here. That this one starts the. Uh, let's bring it up here. Get a little bit here. The the press on this button here starts this command, and on this dot button starts the M5. So these are mainly only MDE commands that are controlling the machine. And the files, the pins are connected in the PostGUI file. This is Plasma test file here. I implemented. I will r run through this. The main upper part is from the PyVCP file here from the side board. So it's the RPM is given to the sidewalk. There's a time connection. So I see the real time of milling. And also the buttons here are connected for setting my new uh, zero point and removing to zero point. This is also on one of these buttons here from the front side. So I see if the machine is correctly zeroed and can restart without looking on the, the screen, on the monitor, and even on the, the access GUI here. I can even can control the machine completely with the, the controller here. There are 12 buttons and 6 axes on this controller. So here, let's run through it. These are the HAL commands for, for the zeroing of the machine. Here's the gamepad. I load uh, MOOCs 8 into it. Of course, I, need, I got here 4 buttons and uh, uh, I need 1 zero, so it's 5. I, need, I can't complain with MOOCs 4, I need 8. Here's the magic that does it. It just selects uh, like a binaire code, uh, the inputs of those MOOCs, and so I can combine all the inputs. As I record this in HD, it should not be a problem for you to read this. Here's the, the force button goes in, and, and the result of the MOOCs output goes into chalk speed. 
here's the actually uh, input for the control the connections from X and Y and Z to the controller and the machine input button hatch 0x positive and lower there is the connection for run stop and pause resume I go this to toggle button so I can press twice the button I don't lose one button for uh, I ha so I have one button for two functions and here is the connection for uh, plasma on plasma off machine on and machine off and homing of the machine you see the buttons so how do you know where are the buttons if you just put only this line in here, use a hull command and then start up your machine without getting anything into your post GUI. You end up with machine machine is now running here. I show uh, let's say hull uh, show pins. You get here an input, input zero. Here are the pins of the, the controller. Uh, yes, I, it works. It's difficult to get all uh, pictures here to work. So let's first uh, put all the buttons. Buttons top, buttons top two, thumb, thumb, pinky, joystick. I got sometimes fancy names. Uh, one button is pressed. Oh, I got not here. You see, it's not. I uh, hit the wrong side. Uh, let's do it. No, I uh, few uh, erase and start over. So I only have this one. I would not like to have the knot. I only want to have the real button press here. Go through it. Base four, two, and base. So these are the twelve buttons. Let's do a press. See, it's. Here you can see if I press the buttons and now go on 3, it's uh, button thumb 2. If I press here, it's base 6. I press the, the main top button down. Let's see. Here's the button. Now these are the access. So I got, uh, hopefully the machine is not running. Pause and resume. It's difficult if the machine is controlled. Uh, so and the axes are here absolute set negative positive so let's get this in I use only positive and negative buttons positive uh, so I use all the controls here as, as simply as buttons not as scale or, or negative or whatever these no position is not good uh, these controllers have mainly connecting that uh, the hatch and this one here is connected you see here it if I press this one down it signals two input pins so this is not good if I therefore I change XY to this controller and set to this because this, these are unique if I press this up it's only one press down only one here and I need to get the hatch on side here negative hatchback positive negative let's go a little bit further so I can see all here press one you only see one going on here also one here's only one here's only one if I put this to the side I got two here I got also two so it get gets confused internal you can do something with it but uh, I recommend to keep it free maybe someone ever finds a resolution for this to get the joystick uh, proper calibrated so here are the buttons and now only co you need to connect this proper to your system as we did it here here are the, the names and the function so it's a net net name the function and uh, the button who is pressed for this function so hope it will help someone you can join us on IRC channel just open up your Mozilla hopefully it works
Mozilla Firefox Extras Chatzilla it's an add-on so here let's do it a little, a little bit so you can see it just hit free note it gives you a nickname and in if it's connected join Linux CNC and hit return and there we are here now about 140 people are online and can help you so I hope it is okay for you and see you if you get any questions or any requests on it just uh, give me a hint I will do whatever I can you see here once more there's an analog and dig digital button that controls the hatch and the pins so this one is then uh, brought over to the hatch or the other direction you need to find your own uh, startup system okay that's it for today bye for next time I'm Lothar from Germany